Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to share with you the Marine Biology Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. This unit is actually free on their website for the PDF version. I don't know if it's going to be free forever, so if you want to get a hold of this unit and the PDF version to print on your own, definitely go check that out. I, however, went ahead and just bought the printed version from the company because I don't have a good printer, so it really wasn't worth it to me to try to get it printed myself. Um, it probably would have cost me a lot more money than just buying the physical copy from them. But anyway, I want to go ahead and give you guys an in-depth look into the Marine Biology Unit. It is seriously beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it if you haven't already. Um, here are the vocabulary words. I'm just storing them here. As I said in my human body video, um, we are doing, we're not doing the actual science wall this year. I bought a trifold poster board that I'm going to use for each unit to put the vocab words on. I'm probably going to be taking these out of here though because they keep falling out. So I'm probably just going to store them in like a plastic bag until I'm ready to go. But here is the table of contents and this is a really thick unit. Um, compared to some of the others. But I'm really excited to dive into this one. This one will probably take us more time than any of the other ones for the full, for the next school year, but that's okay because my kids and I are very excited about it. Um, so it has 13 lessons. Here's all the unit information. Um, I love that they break down the supplies that you need by the lesson. I'm actually going to be purchasing um, the toolboxes for teaching kits for each unit. So I won't need very many supplies after purchasing that, which is awesome and very handy for a homeschool mom or dad. Here is the optional read alouds. There are a ton of them for this unit. And then here is the first lesson. And again, I love how they break everything down for me that I'm going to need. That is so helpful. But as you can see in this unit, there are tons of activities happening throughout. So I can see these lessons taking us more than two days. Cause like, like I've said before, we typically will break the lessons up over two days. I can see these lessons taking maybe two weeks each maybe less than that. I don't know. It'll just depend, but this is a pretty meaty unit. Here's one of the really cool experiments or activities, I guess, that I'm really excited to do. Um, it looks like you use sand and different things. It looks really awesome. And I think my kids are going to really love that. This unit has very beautiful pictures. So that's one of the reasons that I didn't, um, just get the free PDF and have it printed because I felt like the pictures wouldn't turn out as beautiful. Okay, here's a poem it looks like. Worksheets. And then we have lesson three, which is marine life. See, these lessons are quite a bit longer than most of the other units that I've seen. The pictures are so pretty in this though. I kind of skip ahead a little bit. Crustacean body structure. Here we have marine reptiles. A sea turtle, like a full size picture of one, which is really cool. I'm not showing the entire unit, so I'm kind of skipping ahead here. Shark senses, that'll be interesting. Here we have lesson 10, which is marine mammals part one.
I think my kids are really going to love this unit. Marine Mammals Part 2. Some more beautiful pictures. And then I wanted to show you guys at the back a cool um, thing that they're going to be doing at the end of the unit. Oh, it's not there. Um, I think it might be somewhere in here in the last lesson. But anyway, there's like a marine animal um, report that they're going to be doing, which is awesome. We're definitely going to be doing that, going to the library and getting books on the animal that they choose. So I'm excited. Now I want to show you guys the many books because this is where a lot of the really, really beautiful pictures are. And especially in this one, the story of the coral reef. I'm honestly um, just so excited and truly amazed by this curriculum. I've pretty much fallen in love with it after doing the arthropods unit. So very thankful that we found it this year. And that is all I'm going to show you for the marine biology unit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you an idea of what is in this unit and what it has to offer. In the comments below, please let me know what science curriculum you are thinking about using for the 2019-2020 school year. I love to hear from you and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.